I live just down the road, so I've spent a lot of days on campus watching sporting events here, and I've just heard that it's a really good school through like the Maclean's magazine and all that kind of stuff, and I just. I just feel like it's a good fit being on this campus. It was actually pretty rough. First semester uh, kind of took me off guard. I had a lot of anxiety, um, partly due to the fact that I took last year off and then um, came here and there was just a lot of new things coming at once, like new professors, new people, new residents, and uh, it, was, it was pretty overwhelming for me. First, I really struggled and didn't know who, who to go to. I, I'm lucky to have really supportive parents, so I sought their advice, and um, they, they found out about disability access services, and um, we met with Jill Davies there, and um, she, she set me up with uh, Terry Lane, um, who's a, a psychologist um, in disability access, and um, yeah, we, we took it from there. Jill's been seeing me once a week to help with academic mentoring. And uh, I just um, try to surround myself with a lot of supportive people. Second semester was a complete turnaround for me. I, I moved back onto campus uh, living in, in Dennis in residence here and um, practicing with the basketball team a couple of times a week. And uh, got a really good friend group here. and. Uh, it, feel, it feels more like home now this, this semester and I feel like I can stay on top of my work and everything that comes my way. It was really unexpected. I mean, I, I thought university was going to be tough, but I didn't, I never expected it to, uh, to hit me like psychologically um, in, in the form of a, a disorder. And um, I, I guess I just learned a lot about myself first semester knowing that in transition times of my life that, um, that, that it's going to be hard for me to deal with. But uh, I'm fortunate that Acadia is a small school and there's a lot of really great people here that, that will help you out with anything. And uh, I learned that um, nothing's, nothing's too, too hard to, to overcome. It's actually something that uh, I feel strongly about um, delivering a message to um, to students about um, how hard the transition is in your first year of university. Um, and that's, that's disability or not. Um, and one of the things that I, that I want to show in this, in this play is that you can have a, a tough time with it at first, but you can have the time of your life like after if you get through the rough patches. So it's something that means a lot to me to show other people what you can do here. I guess it's just been, been helpful to, to voice what's going on for me. Like on a, on a university campus, even though you're surrounded by tons of people, you can feel isolated, not knowing if you're the only one struggling with a crazy workload or you're the only one who's, who's not sure if you're studying enough or um, if you're feeling cramped in your residence room, what have you. So it was just nice to be able to talk to people like Jill and, and Terry and, um, and, and for, to, to hear from them that it's not completely abnormal to be going through these things in first year of university. My advice would just be take advantage of all the services offered here. I mean, not just dis disability access, but You've got, you've got great RAs here, residence assistants in your residences, um, coaches if you're into athletics, um, all kinds of great people on the campus here. So just make sure you, you uh, look at all your options and don't feel alone on campus.